hello. For this video, I'm going to show you how I make what I do with these these type of negatives. Because I was punching out flowers the other day to make some cards, and I was punching out some leaves. So I wanted to show you at least one idea not a couple different ideas of what you can do with them. This is one thing that I just that I just did and I just took this negative and laid it on a piece of scrap and cut around it because this can go on the border of a card. So and then you can just put gems in the center or you can stamp little alphabets in the center. So figured you can I'll take you along with me and I pulled out some some more strips so I can 3d these on and we can have a little chat session while I'm doing this alrighty oh that looks pretty together so sometimes I'll just glue them straight on and sometimes I 3d them that one actually looks kind of pretty just like that let's leave that one on there like that Oop, there it goes. All right. I thought I messed this up because I've, I've been putting it in my in my cup with a wet tissue in there, or paper towel, rather, when I'm using it. And then I put it upside down like this in my cup. And I didn't realize how much water I had added to the bottom of the cup the other day, so it, it kind of sucked all the water up into my tube of glue. So I had to squeeze that excess water out. All right, that looks good. <clears throat> and you can make these into just the regular ephemera to later on make into embellishments or you can go ahead and embellish them right away or sometimes I just put get them this far and then just put them in a package. But I think I might go ahead and embellish some of these ones today. So, alrighty, let's see what else will match. That one, that'll match pretty, alrighty. and the leaves. That'll be pretty. Ooh, maybe I'm in blue. Oh, yes, that's pretty. I like to <clears throat> to glue them right... Up. See, there's the water already. Aha! Uh -huh. I just put it back in that cup and I guess I still have liquid in it. <laughs> Alrighty, I need to get that out of there. Oh my goodness. Yep. <laughs> Okay, I definitely don't want to do that again. Alrighty, turn that over. Let's try this again. Oh, that's better, okay. So as I was saying is, I do prefer to try to glue these things together onto a background right away because otherwise this, this happens. They start separating and then they, they break apart and then they don't look as nice or I can't use them. So, but for now, now's the perfect time to put them on there and get them done. And it's okay if they're a little bit big, like this one is a, a nice long one, but it should still fit on at least a number, number nine or 10 envelope, or I could always cut it in half and use it, use half of it on a card. I've done that too, plenty of times. All right, let's get this one on. Is that pink or red? That's red. Ooh, that'll just fit on there. But you know what? I like the way that looks, so let's do it. That'll be pretty. It 
it amazes me how many things that can be make, made out of all these scraps. There, that's good. And this one, that'll be pretty on there. Or should I put it on? Sometimes I'll put two pieces together like this and then put it on. Will that fit? That will fit, but you're really gonna see that. All right, I don't wanna do that then. Sometimes I like to do two colors too and put like this so that way you can you can put the flower on and then it automatically covers it or colors it in for you. As a matter of fact, maybe I'll do that. that that'll be pretty for this one. All right, so I need to tape this together. Perfect length, too. Yeah, good idea. Alrighty, why not? Just trim that down. That's pretty. <clears throat> Alrighty. That purple on the blue would be gorgeous. So my granddaughter likes to come over and just sit on, on the steps <laughs> or on the landing at the bottom of the steps. And she'll just curl up in her blanket and just sit there so she can be away from the boys. My younger grandson loves to come up here in my room and either lay on the bed behind me or we have a spare room. And he'll go in there and, and just lay around. For some reason, he still likes to go under the bed and just lay under the bed, which is just hilarious. The boys both like doing that still. And they're 10 and 14. <laughs> but they pretty much have free reign in that spare room. Because I've told them they can go in there and we have a day bed in there so they can pull all the, the cushions off and build a fort or whatever they want to do. They seem to like to lay under the bed and droop the covers over the side. <laughs> oh, that'll fit on there. All right, yep, like that. Turn it sideways, it'll fit. I'm gonna do that. Waste not, want not. We can deal with it. There you go. Perfect. Alrighty. And this purple and the blue. That's pretty. Do I want to 3D that one too? Yeah, let's 3D that. This was from a folder. Let's do that. Whoop, there goes my roll falling down.
that's all we need is just a wee little bit on there and and that's good all right that's good enough oh i forgot i had some there silly me so these are almost done when i'm done then i'll go ahead and just decorate them so that way you can see how i deal with them on like this. There. I can use it that way. And this one I think I'll put on the green. Oh, that kind of washes it out, doesn't it? Okay, that'll have to go on the blue then. That's pretty. I think I'll 3D this one up too. the whole thing off. I guess I didn't press it down hard enough. <laughs> there. Alrighty. There. <clears throat> Alright, and then I just have one left. So this can go on blue or green. I guess the blue. I do tend to like that better, and as a matter of fact, let's just put it on this one that I cut out. That's a good idea. Oh, my grandson just came upstairs and went in the spare room. I guess he's talking with one of his friends online. All right, oops, and I almost forgot I've got these too, so I need some square pieces. Let's see what I have. should fit okay and this one actually has a fold as you can see so I'm going to crimp this one because I like to, to take actually what I'll do is I'll glue it down first and then I'll crimp it that's a better idea whoops did that no oh, good I think his trick worked hey it did my grandson gave me a great idea he told me because I told him every time I'm doing a video then if somebody calls me or tries to FaceTime me, which is usually my grandson or, or one of my daughters, then it throws me off of the video. So he said, well, Grandma, why don't you just put it on airplane mode? Because then you won't be able to get any calls coming through. It'll just show on your watch that you're getting a call, which is exactly what it just did. It showed me on my watch that I was getting a call. And it did not shut me off on my phone, so that's good. All right, so see, I just glued that down, and you can st I can still see the line, so I'm just going to throw it through the crimper, and that adheres it down even better, and it hides that line. I like that. All right, so that one's done, and this was actually paper that I had cut leaves out of, so I need to cut this apart so I can have the three panels. Good. I don't know how 
just tip this. It looks like it'll fit on there. Yep, it will. Perfect. All right. Very good. That one's ready. This one. Then press that down, okay. And then one more. That one can go in here. Perfect. Hi, Butler. You coming over here? Huh? You gonna come say hi? Yeah, hang on a second. I've gotta put this down. Yes, I know. You want some love, so hang on. Come on. He's trying to sneak in my lap. Come on. You can come over. You want to say hi to everybody? Huh? You can come up on the desk and say hi. Okay. Dear, you just need a love, huh? You being a good boy. Hmm? Yeah. Then he purr, 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 purrs. Okay. Is that what you wanted? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. There you go. Good boy. Thank you. All right. So, created some more scraps by doing that, but that's okay. I can use these for other things or with these. We'll see. All right. So, let's pull this out and we'll see what I can come up with here. the leaves. I'm thinking gems and a bow. I'm thinking I'm going to start with these first because these are a lot easier in my mind for now for some reason. All right. So I've got dots. Let's see what colors we want to play with. Some multicolored ones, we'll just stick these in there. That's a good idea. That'll be pretty. All right, so let's start with this one. That's pretty. That's pretty so far. Funny how it pretties it right up as soon as you put the little gems on, and then later on we can figure out what to to add to them or on a card or sometimes I'll go ahead and just work a little longer on them. That's pretty. So those three are done. I love this blue and purple together. I think that's really pretty. And I love blue and green together. Whoop, did I take it off of there? Is the sticky on there? No. How did I miss the sticky? I'm just going to glue it down then. There. 
that will work. Okay, and more. I love doing flowers, they're so much fun. These are the two colors. My grandmother made me a quilt, or an afghan rather, with these two colors. She made all six of us kids a quilt one year for Christmas. She was asking us, it took her a couple years to make them, but she was asking us, what color do you want your quilt? And we all told her, and I told her these blue and green, and I still have it. I keep it in my spare room on the bed in there because that's just a double bed. So it fits in there. My sister's was pink and white. Oh, hers was so pretty. And I believe she still has hers, too. The twins, I, I don't think the twins have theirs. I'm pretty sure they use theirs to slide down the steps with and busted holes through them. Which grandma was not thrilled with at all. <laughs> yep, I wasn't happy to hear about that. Alright, and these. Then on the leaves, I do like to add gems, but I like to add the smaller ones so it looks like raindrops. The raindrops on, although that might be kind of pretty too. Hmm. Let's try it. That's pretty. All right. Why the heck not? Whoop, took them right back over there, didn't I? Silly me. Oh, that one's not sticking either. Well, the sticks on it, huh? These aren't very old. They must have. Just not stuck. Well, I got them at the Dollar Tree, so I guess you get your money's worth. But that's okay. I don't mind using a little bit of glue. All right. Yeah, that looks pretty on there. Very pretty. Okay, so that's nice. So we got those done. So now we just have the leaves. And I think with the leaves, I'm definitely going to pull out the smaller gems. Because this would just be too much. And let's see. I think I've got some small ones in here. silver. Let's try these smaller silver ones. 
I got these because they had the black ones on there and I like to use the black ones for like bird eyes and things like that. That's kind of pretty. Let's see, let's put one at the bottom of each section. That'll work. It's pretty. I do like that together. Very nice. All right, so these, I think I want to add words on there. Hmm. Let's see. What type of word? Good question. liking that on these. It's because I don't know what I'm going to do with the card. So maybe I'll just leave these as is for now. Or, hang on, maybe I can add some flowers. I've got flowers in here. Oh, and I have these pretty purple gem flowers. Those are really pretty. It's pretty. I like it on the purple one, so I guess I'll just leave it on the purple one. But I think I'm, I think I want my little white mini flowers in this instead. I think that'll be pretty. All right, let's glue these down first, though. Everything has beauty. That's pretty. I like that. Okay, that's better. Here's another one. Everything has beauty, and it's just in white and black. It's the other opposite of that one. Maybe this one. than yesterday. I like that. There. I really do like these words. Don't forget to fly. Today is, oh, today is a good day. There you go. There. All right. That's better. I like those. So those are good. And then, let's see, looking at these, I think I like that, but these ones here, I think they need either a word or a bow. 
ribbon wrapped around. Let's see what kind of words I have. Because these ones have that extra space. So that's a... Hmm. Let's do that. All right. Keep going back and forth. You know what? I think I'm going to leave these like this because I want to put them on cards first and then I'll decide. All right, but I do like the leaves like that because those leaves are like ready to just throw on a card. So that's clever. So let's pull out a couple cards. Two, three, four. Okay. Oops. One too many. All right. And that'll be pretty. So then I just want some decorative paper or something to go behind there. I like that or I'm also thinking of stamping and cutting out a tree that might be pretty just putting that there you know what I think I'm just going to glue these down like this because I do like that idea should I three nope I'm going to just lay it straight down all right nice. I really love these little rolls of gems there from the Dollar Tree. They end up having some of the neatest stuff in there. But it's definitely hit or miss. You never know. But I can honestly say anything I've seen online on YouTube that when somebody gets on and says, oh, look at my haul, look at all this stuff I got from the Dollar Tree. Then I go to the Dollar Tree, they don't have any of that stuff. None. I've never seen any of it. So that gets a little discouraging, but I do find different things. So that's kind of neat. This is what I like to do with stuff like this, is I glue it on, and then I set it aside until the next step. So I'll, I'll sit looking at these, and I'll go, okay, and then an idea will come to me after looking at them for a little bit. Yep, that'll work. And then I can add to them. And this one, yep, I like it in that corner. That's pretty. Okay, and one more, I think the off-white again. So just for a couple, a couple
couple different ideas on using your negatives as you're cutting out little flowers and stuff, then save those negatives because you can always do things like this, putting together these very simple embellishments, and I can always add to them later, depending on what, what I'm gonna use the card for, and then things like this. I love to let them hang off sometimes. I think that's fun. And then the little leaves. So just another way to use up some scraps. So, all right. So if you like this video, please remember to like the video and click that like button and you're welcome to subscribe and share and hit that bell if you'd like future notifications of when I do a video. And until we meet again, Happy crafting!